This is a really different video than I normally make. I just happened to be driving outside of Syracuse, New York and drove past this random site and decided to pause and take a look. And I wanted to share some notes with folks about the just exquisite bounty of nature, how resilient and amazing it is. So driving by and seeing site available. So this is some place that may be commercially available for folks to buy. Somebody's been putting in the effort with uh, machines to keep this area mowed. And of course, dandelions are willing to still flower and provide nectar for bees. I guess an arbitrary line in the sand, so to speak, was laid out just past that sign uh, is where they quit managing it. They've, they've quit taking care of it. They've quit keeping up with it. All those different ways that people use language like that. In other words, it's been, you know, left alone to be wasteland, quote unquote. And <laughs> driving by, I was like, boy, those trees look pretty interesting. I would like to take a look. In front of me, pretty much for as far as the eye can see, in this area is uh, an absolute carpet of extreme diversity of apples and pear seedlings. Where they came in from, I couldn't exactly tell you, but it just goes on and on as I walk on some plastic trash. And this is an area that will be purchased by someone, probably a commercial developer. Uh, they'll get rid of all of this waste, quote unquote, which is what seems to be many, many, many acres of unique genetic expression. It's like the absolute best new pair that no one's discovered yet right here. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll never know. Look at the form of this apple. It's just incredibly upright and clean and a perfectly balanced scaffold. Are they all entirely crab apples and microscopic and sour and bitter? are some huge, super crisp, mega sweet beauties. They're all providing flow and nectar for the bees to be sure. I'm sure birds are coming in and harvesting in the fall. It just goes on and on and on. It's a perfectly balanced young ecosystem of apples and pears, which I may want to also note are non-native species. So technically, these are non-native invasives that are taking over this field. There's some interesting value in questioning that whole narrative around invasive and native. Natives are absolutely exquisite to be sure, but so are non-native invasives in certain contexts, it seems. Anyway, I've never seen this exact type of context before of just what was obviously mode area left alone for enough years, I would take a venture, a guess, that this space was probably unmanaged for about eight to 10, maybe 15 years. And somehow the seed load came in uh, on its own. Maybe deer and rabbits. I see a random European buckthorn, another non-native, but they're also decompacting the soil and adding organic matter. Uh, and it's just more carbon to be had Anyway, I don't need to go on and on about it. It's just one of those stunning reminders of how incredibly amazing nature is at reclaiming space and filling it with food and medicine and exquisite beauty. I'm gonna take another shot in that front sign. Maybe someone roughly in the Syracuse area sees that sign, calls that number and buys this place and has an, a plug and play orchard of exquisitely unique genetically novel apples and pears that can grow. Here's one that's entirely red in its foliage. Here's one that's extremely loaded with pink flowers. That one's got white flowers. And the birds are coming through and spreading. Anyway, very different than what I normally talk about, but I think in the same theme of just seeing, these are the systems and the patterns of what nature wants to do when we get out of the way. And I can tell you, I very much appreciate it. And then I even see the great future, the long distance future in here of random sole black walnut growing with extreme vigor. So I could imagine somebody coming in and adding chestnuts and hickories, pecans, and all sorts of nut tree overstory layers and maintaining this area. Could they graze with sheep and goats? Anyway, I guess it may become a Dollar General store it may become some other medical facility, or maybe someone buys this place and 
turns it into this incredibly valuable, genetically unique, resilient orchard. If they quit mowing this, it just keeps repeating with food. So anyway, nice reminder. Nature, you're pretty rad. Thanks for everything you do. And thank you for watching.